Hello, hello, family. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to another video, okay? The Tion MPD and relationships. Y'all know how we do it, family. Listen, if you've been uh, watching the content for some time and you like what you hear, go ahead and get that, hit that subscribe button, hit that follow button and come follow me as we discover our destinies. Of course, to my new subscribers and new followers, hey y'all, welcome family, and thank you for joining us. I appreciate you for subscribing, thank you so much. And to my tribe and family at large, welcome back. Thank you all for visiting my media resource and finding value in something that I have to say. I appreciate your time, family. And if you like the content that I'm bringing to you, why don't we let the YouTube community know? Y'all know how we do that, family. We just simply hit that like button. It gives our tribe and our family right here the greatest opportunity to grow. So can you say Thursday night? Okay, can you say Thursday night? Thursday night, we're gonna be live right here on the channel, y'all at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We go live one night a week on the channel, and that is at 5 p.m. Listen, we have good conversation, information, revelation, come on here, for your, um, for your healing journey. It is important that you that you get this information to take your healing to the next level. I believe it'll bless your soul. So come on out on Thursday nights and invite a few folks in, okay? Get jump in the live chat and talk to us, okay? All right, so listen, y'all. The goal of the day is 1.2K. 1.2K, every time we drop a video, we want this information to spread to everyone that needs this information. Someone hit the like button for us. Let us hit it for somebody else, amen? man so please if you rocks with your girl hit that like button okay if you don't like it hit the dislike button it's up to you just engage all right all right drop a comment below all right so let's jump into the topic of this video though okay let's jump into the topic of this video i want to talk to you today i need to talk talk about this hate hoover okay this is really important y'all because i haven't seen a video like this Okay, I haven't I haven't seen a video like this and I want to say that I'm going to um I'm going to probably coin this phrase the hate hoover. I'm going to probably go ahead and just coin that. Um I've not seen anybody talk about a hate hoover. And so um <clears throat> What a hate Hoover is, is basically, we know the whole concept of Hoovering is, you know, the narcissist trying to suck you back in, you know, um, basically uh, in, in various different ways. And, you know, the thing about it is these clowns get creative. You know, these birds, they get really creative when they get desperate, you know. And, and you know, the setup is pretty much the same as it would be, you know, any other Hoover. The only thing about this one is um, this one is a little different because the way uh, a lot of times the reason that they are sending this type of Hoover is because they've been pretty much shut out of everything else. You know what I'm saying? They can't get you on email. Um, and then, uh, you probably blocked them on your phone, probably got, a, got these Chinese crests blocked on, uh, you know, just on your major platform, you know, on your plat, uh, your social media sites or whatever. And, uh, uh, DMs and everything. So what they'll typically do with a hate Hoover, if you all have, excuse me, if you have mutual friends, okay, a lot of times because the narcissist is blocked and if they can't get to you, what they will do is they will create a uh, fake social media profile. Okay, now when they create this fake social media profile, you'll probably see that profile try to reach out to you and be friends with you. You don't know the person. They may have one person following them or whatever. You might be already suspicious of it. You know, if you're if you're listening to your intuition, your you know, if you you listening to the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit gonna probably already give you notice that you know that's that's something that you probably don't need to engage in, but. However, if you all have mutual friends, if you still have friends, uh, you know, mutual friends, they will, uh, they'll, they'll hate Hoover through the mutual friends. Okay, so this is what they'll do in a hate Hoover. Um, in a hate Hoover, they will typically say something 
okay? They'll typically make a statement, which is usually a lie. If they're doing it through proxy, you know, through another person, it's usually a lie. But it's going to be a statement that's so jarring and so vile and, I mean, just the nastiest thing that they could say. Now, what they'll do is they'll tell, if, it, if they're doing it by proxy through another person, they'll tell the other person, this is something that you did to them. Okay. And then the other person, so it's going to be like an accusation, but it's, it. I mean, but the, the thing about it, it is not like a, just a regular accusation. It's an accusation on a whole nother level. Okay. This is on a whole other level. That, I mean, it's talking to, I mean, the, what they're going to say in a hate Hoover like this is they're going to, they're going to lie and say something just nasty. I mean, just one of the biggest lies that's totally unfounded. You, and, and the other person, and the reason that they do it is they want to jar the other person. You know, they want the other person to be like, what? I can't believe that. And, and, and yeah, and then they'll say, now they won't tell the other person not to say anything to you. They won't say that. They'll just say, yeah, this is what happened and blah, blah, blah. See, it's important that they jar the other person if they're doing it by proxy, because they know that when they do that, that that other person is going to come and say something to you. Okay. Now that's how they'll do it through a, uh, another person. Now, if they do it, if they're, if they're, uh, if they're coming at you directly, okay, they, if they hit you on a, on a fake profile, they're going to say something on that fake profile. And, and this, and I'm going to tell you something, a hate hoover is actually really easy for a narcissist. They would probably actually prefer this because they don't have to come out of their, their, uh, their negative, nasty nature. Okay. I said it. Their negative, nasty nature, vile, as, as vile as they are, they don't have to come out of that nature to actually hoover you. They don't have to be kind. They don't have to tell you that, you know, they ha they've had an epiphany because they don't like that anyway. You know what I'm saying? That's what they that's what they're doing when they have to sit up there and think about being kind to you and trying to get you back. Hate Hoover, this hate Hoover is out of sheer desperation. Let let's go ahead and get that out there. It's out of sheer desperation. So so I need y'all family, please hit that like button. Please hit that like button. Let this circulate so people can get this information. Let's pay it forward, okay, family? Because I know it's some folks going through this. I, I I know it's some folks that have have actually experienced this. So if you don't mind, hit that like button. But this is what this is what they'll do. So they don't have to come out of their their negative nature, that terrible nasty attitude that they have. They don't have to come out of that. So what they'll do is they'll they'll it's not hard for them to think of mean things to say. And y'all saw that at the discard. Y'all saw who that person really was at the discard. You saw that um you actually saw who that person really was. You saw that mask come all the way off. Do you hear me? That mask came all the way off. So what happens is when they hit you on this on this social media and they're doing that, you know, the way that they do that is they they're going to actually say um something that is mean and nasty. But not only is it mean and, and nasty, but they're going to also, because if they hit you with this fake profile, they're going to have to also say something that would let you know that it's them. So they'll be, you know, yeah, you did so-and-so and I know this and that and the other. But, uh, in other words, whatever they say on that fake profile, you're it's going to be mean and ugly to you. And then not only that, you're going to know that it's them by the by the next statement or something else that they put in that message. You're going to know that it's them. And all they are attempting to do in all of this is to get a response out of you. That is the whole mission and goal is they want to get a response out of you because they want a conversation. They want it. And, and it's out of desperation because a lot of times and what you have to understand is a narcissist. You are never going to be in an addiction ship with a narcissist alone. That is just not it doesn't happen like that. See, and what they what they didn't anticipate was that you were going to fall out of the rotation.
They they knew that it was going to be a beginning and an end. But see, to them, it's not an end. It's just you get shelved and then you get put back in the rotation. That's what it means to the narcissist, okay? You get shelved and then you're going back into the rotation. No, 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 no. But you said, uh, no, that's that's a all that's a that's a H to the whatever. Okay, no, we're not doing that. Okay, that's what you said when you put your foot down and you said, oh, no, we're not having that. Okay, so th th your game is over. Okay, I've all we're on the chessboard. So your my queen has already taken out your king. So it's game over. I said it. It's game over. See, 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 when you do that right there, when you make that type of statement and you go ahead and leave that addiction ship and you leave that that hell minted frog right on over there in his cesspool of nothingness with that uh, sewage storm raining. Oh, baby, they got to come back with something. Oh, because they they literally hate you for moving on and taking control of the situation and saying, no, I'm not going to let you do that. You don't have that much power because that's literally what you are saying when you walk away from the discard and refuse to go back. This is what you are actually saying. You know how much strength it takes to walk away? People think that it takes so much strength to stay. No, the strength is actually in the walking away. Because a lot of you have come from families where, you know, dysfunction was the function. And so this thing came to you and it was really a, a familiar thing to you, but you had, you had the wherewithal to say, you know what? No, I don't know all the answers and I don't know. I, I don't know what all I could have done to make this right. But what I do know is that I'm not going back to that. That's what I do know. After you done had enough uh, going on on that merry-go-round, after you have uh, spent enough time in the masquerade ball, okay, and you decided to get off the roller coaster ride, okay, because that's just what it is. It's a masquerade ball on a roller coaster ride. Hello, somebody. Okay, I, when, when the last time you been in a masquerade ball and it had an inside roller coaster? That's what it's like being with a narcissist. That's exactly what it's being. It's like being with a narcissist at a masquerade ball with a roller coaster uh, ride inside of that bad boy. But see, when you put your foot down, they gonna have to come at you like this. It's called a hate Hoover. Hit that like button for me, please. This right here is some. This right here is. I, I just. I have to keep saying it. Life changing, sometimes life saving information. So people understand this. This clown is just really attempting to get another conversation with me. But see, when you had the strength to walk away, just keep. Just stay away. Just stay away because let me tell you something. Like I said, it, it it takes more strength to walk away than it does to stay. And now that you have harnessed that power and you got enough strength to walk away from that, family, stay gone. Stay gone. You are not returning through a hate hoover. What you do with hate hoovers is you ignore them. When the flying monkeys come and say something to you about that, you said, listen, if you come back and say anything to me that this person has told you, then I'm going to go ahead and cut you off because I'm going to see you just like them. And most of y'all probably should have cut them off anyway. You know, because see, they, they all they do is transfer information back and forth. <laughs> so it comes out of desperation. That's the main thing, but the but the but the characteristics of it is desperation, and the character and and the main thing is that it's hateful, it's mean, it's ugly, it's vile, but it's an attempt to get you to react, okay, and for for them to re-engage you in some type of conversation they're desperate for. It. Don't give it to them. You listen. You let them uh, long-legged hound dogs. Listen. You let them zebras, them bow-legged zebras. You let them bats and cowboy hats. Let them go ahead on about their business. Listen. They've done enough. This time for you to heal. Once is enough, family. Once is enough. Okay, family. So I wanted to put this out here. This hate over. I haven't seen this in the in the uh, community anywhere, but I wanted to go ahead and coin that one today. So God bless you. I love you all. I will see you all on the next video and I will see you all at the top. Okay, family. Shalom. Peace.